Thousands of dollars down the drain in a matter of seconds after police say a driver intentionally destroyed a Portland Bureau of Transportation construction site. And tonight, that suspected driver is behind bars. Jenny Young, live on that story tonight with a look at that video. What does it show us here, Jenny? Well, just like you said, Jeff, it's only a matter of seconds. And this drained taxpayers' funds by $30,000. He must have been running late for something. People in this southeast Portland neighborhood were puzzled when we showed them this video. Maybe he was running late and driving inebriated. <laughs> I couldn't imagine just pushing through a street close sign like that and not backing up and going around. Surveillance video shows a white Ford pickup truck pull up to a street closure at Southeast 38th Avenue and Schiller. The driver stops for a moment before plowing through the barricade and then through freshly poured concrete, leaving behind deep tire tracks and thousands of dollars worth of damage. I'm going to save five minutes by driving through this mud, or I'm going to save five minutes and go around this car until they hit a kid or they, you know, do $30,000 worth of damage. Portland police say the person behind the wheel of that truck was 28-year-old Richard Reed. We walk this guy every day and we cross down into Reed Canyon, one of the most beautiful places. Amy Kosky and her family have lived in this neighborhood for a decade. She loves it here, but says she and her neighbors constantly see drivers breaking the law. The drivers drive around you on the left-hand side. They zoom up and down 40 or 50 miles an hour, and all of our neighbors uh, we call every day, we call 911 when there's reckless drivers, and they just never show up. Police aren't releasing any information about why they suspect Reed or how they caught up with him. They say he's being charged with one count of reckless driving and two counts of criminal mischief, a felony charge. Well, Reed is in court tomorrow morning. We'll let you know what happens. Jeff, Jennifer, back to you. Thanks, Jenny. She's